We're heading towards Panama today. First stop for the last night in Costa Rica, Pavones, which is a very popular surfing beach. Then tomorrow we're gonna get tested for COVID-19. Right now, Panama only requires the antigen test. And then after, to the border we go. People had recommended Pavones, so I read into it. And back in the day, a famous surfer was flying over the coastline looking for a perfect break. And then he bought all the land around that wave. It's supposed to be one of the longest waves in the world, and it should be a tranquil little surf town before heading to the hectic border crossing. So the last couple things that we have to do before we cross the border is basically just clean up the van. We're gonna head to the border tomorrow night to sleep there. We're gonna also get together our uh, border crossing stuff, like our passports, our copies, the pet paperwork, the current paperwork, and then we also bring all of the expired paperwork just in case they need to see any of that stuff. This is like the health pass from Costa Rica, insurance from Costa Rica, that kind of stuff. We're almost ready to go. I'm really, really excited to go into Panama. Well, this is an interesting bridge that we found here. No, <laughs> no railings. <laughs> On our drive, we're passing fields and fields of palm plantations. These palms have no nourishment for wildlife, which destroys the habitat for so many creatures. This is a huge problem in Central and South America. Palm oil is in a lot of processed foods like Nutella and cheap peanut butters. It's super bad for the environment, so best to find alternatives. Ah, Pavones is shaping up to be a really nice spot. That would be Corcovado National Park out on the peninsula there, the Osa Peninsula. Danny's got some friends while he's swimming today. get a nice little soak in this humid, humid, warm weather. Danny's got his soak on. Going for a little swim with the cows. What did you think of the cows, girl? <laughs> Eating healthy at the beach, cooking our own food. The ultimate maxing and relaxing in here when Danny pulls out the hammock. Got the side door open for a nice breeze. Got some Vita sleeping over there. And Grammy sleeping in the front. Thunderstorms or 
days that we had to walk in the rain, I still don't think it was not worth coming or rescheduling to go to another time. I think it was always really nice. And, and because it rains so much here, you can see like right here how good they are with guiding the water where it needs to go. Jeez, I don't know if that's a live wire or what. I guess that truck is just waiting back there, but you think we can sneak over here? Holy. Let's see. Looks like the surfboard's gonna clear it. Great. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was tight. Wow, that was so scary. Oh my gosh. We just got our nose jab. It's been a while. We didn't need one to come to Costa Rica. They just have a health insurance you have to buy. So luckily, it's the cheaper test to go to Panama, the antigen. The more expensive one's called the PCR. So while we wait for our results for the COVID test, I'll tell you guys some other things we did to prepare for the border. We also got the pet paperwork. We looked up online which COVID test we would need. Make sure you check a pretty valid source because it seems to change quite a bit. We can get an antigen or PCR, which is nice. Negative! Negativo! So we spent the night here for 2,600 colones. Have a bathroom and a shower here. And we are very close. The border's just probably a kilometer away here. So we're gonna get into it quick this morning. It's uh, 8 a.m. I think we got up at 7.45. Hopefully we'll be in Panama by noon. Come on. Good morning. We're going to Panama today. We're starting at 8.30. Here we go. Passing all these trucks as always. So this is stop one here. Aduana, Customs of Costa Rica. We parked in the right spot here at immigration, but you actually have to cross the street and pay your exit tax over here. I just paid the departure tax. Now we're gonna be able to get stamped out of Costa Rica. Just around the corner from where we got stamped out, we're canceling the Costa Rican TIP. The agent gave us a piece of paper to fill out referencing the current TIP. How's everything look? Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to double check. We actually got kind of lucky because I noticed the VIN number was wrong on the import permit and we put the correct VIN number on our leaving paperwork and uh, he didn't even read the VIN on the van. So. <laughs> so, but that's like a really good lesson for Panama because we were like, we have to make sure every single paper is done correctly and that's you know, I can't believe that we accidentally had the wrong bin, but now we know that it is possible to have the wrong number on the paper, so they better be careful the whole time. So now we get to go to Panama. Happy that this went so quick. Yeah, this is a lot faster than Nicaragua leaving. Leaving Nicaragua took like two hours. Okay. That was, it's only 9.07. Ooh, oh, on to the next side. Oh, please be easy. I gotta read a little bit of the steps on iOverlander. Put a GPS pin to the exact right spot to park and head on over. Wow, so Panama is already different off the bat. We have military officers here doing the inspection and Costa Rica actually doesn't even have an army. Apparently the process has changed a little. So we're looking for where you actually get this insurance. He said it's by the taxis over on the other side here. Over here probably by these taxis. This is vehicle insurance you need for Panama. We just found the engine number. We've never needed it before, but we're worried when we ship to Colombia that if any number is, is not there or wrong, they'll give us a hard time. So made sure to wipe off this nastiness and get a good picture of it. Awesome, Emily got the insurance. I'm having a little brekkie. Things are going well. Things are going well, but the one we worry about is the pet paperwork. Sometimes a vet 
people even say, oh, the worst that could happen is they decapitate your dog. And I was like, I'm not listening to this vet anymore. Sometimes you hear some really alarmist things to try and pressure you into money. Right now, we're getting a slight tactic of that. Up here, <clears throat> there's a guy with a huge crate for animals. And uh, he's been looking at some burritos, so. Whew. But supposedly, entering this country, you do have to pay a lot for each animal. $136 per pet. Even though we paid probably 60 each animal to Costa Rica and vets there for inspecting the animals, giving us papers. Leaving Costa Rica, we didn't really do anything for the pets, but uh, that step will be coming up here, entering Panama. So, fingers crossed everything goes well. Now we came back to sort of the beginning of the building here to do the migration, and somebody left a passport here. Poor guy, yeah. So that's why I've been really careful every time we put something down to remember. We filled out our customs declaration and we're just waiting for the doctor. I guess the doctor had to move his car. It's probably not a thing they would be doing a year ago, have a doctor here. And it doesn't seem to be a smooth process yet. Okay, time to get a temporary vehicle import permit for Panama. We have to get the TIP before I, the passenger, can get sent into Panama. Well, when trying to get the inspection, you know, they took a peek and whatnot. They sent us back here to the doctor. Apparently, she works with pets too. And we have to do something with her. Then the guy will sign off in the inspection of the car. And now that we have the permit for the car, Emily's got to do her migration stamp over there. Now we have to pay for our pets to be imported. It's true, it's 130 per pet which we think is quite expensive. Actually, it's the most expensive yet. But we have to do this to get our TIP since the agent saw the dog and the cat. We would not recommend doing the export paperwork in Costa Rica since no one has looked at it and it was unnecessary money spent on our part, unfortunately. And you can get your COVID test here at the border for $46 a person, which is actually cheaper than we got. But then you'd have to wait. 30 minutes. So now that we've paid $260 for this tiny piece of paper and the lady never looked at the animals once, we gotta go to another agency and pay more money. Basically paid $250 to get from one country to the next. Nothing similar has happened. But now, going from Costa Rica to Panama, all of a sudden, it's a ridiculous amount. Hi, hi baby. Anyway, we're getting into the country and it's important to have the right paperwork because when we go to the next country, it'll be by boat. You really want to have the right paperwork to, to do that. So that's the only reason we went through the whole thing. Otherwise, I would try to get around it. If you just walk the dog across the border, you avoid that whole thing. On the rabies vaccination papers, they had some Britas weight listed but it was her weight when she was three months old so he tried to put eight kilos on there and I said no 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 she's like 22 kilos <laughs> and he's like what like how when was she eight kilos I was like she's only three months old so um then I had to find a different health certificate in our in our barely used um expired paperwork from Nicaragua so it does help to have all the papers from every place ever. <laughs> they signed off on our our temporary import permit for the vehicle. Now that we've finalized all the stuff in there, AKA animals. So last step, we're gonna go pay over here and get fumigated. The guy with the pet paperwork, Danny had talked to him before I went over and did all the rest of the steps and said, oh, it's so annoying that we do all this stuff for the pets and no one ever even looks at the pets. So whenever I was finished, I, he, he was finished with the papers, he gave me the papers and he said, oh, we'll do an inspection now. And I said, okay. So I, I took him around to the side door and he said, oh, is this your dog? And it's like, sombrita, just pet her a little bit. She gave him a couple licks, he was excited. He was like, oh, nice pets. Where's the cat? And then he started petting the cat. I don't think it was a health inspection. I'm pretty sure he just wanted to pet the animals because Danny said no one ever looks at the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one ever looks at them. You pay $250 each. It's like, 
He's like, Ridiculous. Well, let me see how expensive your dog really is. <laughs> <laughs> the 250 includes 90 each for the paperwork that we thought was going to be required from Costa Rica that nobody ever saw. We're going to Panama, my boy. Okay, our entrance to Panama. Just got to get fumigated coming in here. So I'll shut off the intake. Oh, there's just a light mist. Oh, how nice. Welcome to Panama. Bienvenidos a Panama. Okay, so yeah, we have to show basically all of our paperwork one more time to this guy, which is a nice fail safe, you know? If you find out like, oh shoot, I don't have every paper, then this guy at least is gonna tell you <laughs> before you get too far, before you get to Panama City and you can't get on a boat to Colombia. Well, let's see. Let's see if he even cares. Oh. All right, yeah, we're in Panama. Panama. Yeah, yeah. How did they get a Panama hat? Even though they're from Ecuador. Wow, it feels so good to be in a new country again. Like I had been to Costa Rica ten years ago, but I have never been here, and it feels so good. It's 12:05. That means we did make it by noon, like I was hoping. And the total time was 8:30 to 8:30. Too bad. There, there have been easier borders, but we had to make sure everything was gonna be perfect. So, and we've already seen a couple of gas stations. The gas price here looks like 88 cents a liter for regular. Whereas in Costa Rica, it was more than a dollar a liter. So it's gonna be kind of nice. First stop in Panama is to do some van maintenance. This oil is not common. Um, this far south, but uh, it was only $48 for six quarts of synthetic. But here he said the oil change would just be $20 because we're coming in with that stuff. It seems okay to me. Yeah. Eh, this oil change is not going well. I've never had a mechanic need help to remove the oil filter. We got out of there after, you know, helping the mechanic. YouTube. I YouTubed it to figure out. No, you don't have to take apart the engine to do an oil change. <laughs> so anyway, we've got the oil change. Hopefully now we can do a little relaxing. But when it comes to choosing mechanics, that's always really hard. We found this one for my overlander. You go to all these countries thinking they'll be different, and then you see the same chain. Wait, that's not McDonald's. Every time we cross the border, we have Try to use up all of our fruits and veggies, so we really don't have any food. That's true. So we're gonna hit that Grosh. Looks like the big four here. Are you turning left? Are Reba Smith, Ray, Super 99, and Price Mart. So let's check out our first grocery store in Panama. What are these? A ton of them. It says they're tortillas. Whoa. That's something different. Every country has its own kind of tortillas, but these are like the weirdest ones yet. Finally to the good stuff. The produce section. Dang, it's looking nice. What do you think? You gonna have to become a meat eater? No, definitely not. <laughs> ah, they got all the goods here. I haven't seen a produce section this complete in a while, honestly. Do you think this is a granadilla? Yeah, maracuya. Maracuya, they call it here. And it looks like a little bit different, right? It is a little bit different, yeah. It doesn't have the top, and it's a little bit heavier, and it doesn't feel as thin. Yeah. I think we gotta try one just for your sister and mom, see what the heck's inside there. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I didn't mean these tortillas are weird. They're just different. <laughs> the most different. But some of them come with stuff inside. They're calling those the arepas. The last country that had really thick tortillas we were remembering was uh, Guatemala. No, El Salvador. And we're kind of more fans of the thinny ones, but you know, we're going to try these. See what it's all about. Probably not from the grocery store though. The Balboa. I guess that's also the currency, which is technically just the dollar, but sometimes they call it the Balboa. And the beer. The change is called the Balboa. Panama. Seems easy to remember. <laughs> oh, Atlas. And then I like how they have ceviche here too. Is it ceviche? Yeah. I thought it was designed. It was good with beer. <laughs> I found the first vegan ramen in years. <laughs> so what did you think of the vegan selection in Rey? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, there's such there's pretty good stuff there. Yeah, we got some chicken nuggets. We got some soy milk. We have some soy milk brands we haven't seen. I can use the flavor packet. Yeah, and we even got some vegan cheese. It's almonds. Thanks so much for watching our Panama border crossing. Today is our three year van anniversary. <laughs> We've lived in this thing for three years, and we're so excited to bring you guys on the journey with us. It's been epic traveling the world for three years now and we're really glad to have you all along with us on the journey. All right, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.